with the holidays around the corner, I want to give you different stocking stuffer ideas for the fitness lover in your life. Welcome back to another episode of the Wyke Fitness Podcast. I'm your host, Matt Wyke. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the holidays are upon us. Everyone's looking for different ideas, different gifts you can get people, stocking stuffers. So today, what I want to actually present to you are 10 different stocking stuffer ideas that are under $10. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. The first thing that you can purchase for the fitness lover in your life is a new shaker bottle. Let's face it, everyone uses shaker bottles if you're in the fitness industry or you're into working out or exercising, you go to the gym. People use it for their water, people use it for their pre-workout, people use it for an intra-workout, a post-workout protein shake, whatever. Some people even use them to put their water in to use either during the workout or while they're at the office or at work. So a shaker bottle would probably be one of the most essential things that you can buy the fitness lover in your life this year. One good brand, again, this is totally unsponsored, but I personally use them and I love them are blender bottles. You know, I have probably every different size that they have, you know, multiple colorways, uh, you know, but you can get whatever. Some people prefer, uh, I think there's another one called the spider bottle. Um, there's, there's little, uh, like bullet bottles. There's a whole bunch of different stuff that's out there, but find one that you feel the, the person in your life would utilize the most and go with that. The second thing that you can look for are iTunes gift cards. Obviously, if you're working out, you're listening to music, not everyone enjoys listening to the music that maybe your gym is playing. Maybe it just doesn't suit your taste. Maybe it doesn't get you pumped up. You probably just want your own style playing in your ears. So with that being said, you can get an iTunes gift card Put that in the uh, stocking of the person that you want to give it to, and it would make for a great stocking stuffer. Again, obviously, you can spend more than $10 on the gift card if you want it, but because we're trying to stay under $10, you can easily just get a $10 gift card and be done with it. The second thing is earbuds. Now, look, obviously, you have Bose, you have Beats, you have, you know, all of these super high-end, super expensive earbuds, but... If the fitness lover in your life is one of those people who they misplace, they break, they get them wet, they you know whatever, don't get a good pair of of earbuds. So with that being said, there are tons of brands that are out there that are under ten dollars. You can shop on Amazon. Um, I'm actually gonna everything that I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna try and have a link to. Um, so you know, feel free to click the links. And, and you can easily just go right over and buy whatever you're like, oh, I like that idea. I'm just going to use that. Um, the links, if you're listening on iTunes, they're going to be over on the website. All you have to do is search for um, 10 fitness stocking stuffers under 10 bucks. All the links will be there. If you're listening, obviously on the website, you're already there. So just put it in the search. And if you're on YouTube, I'm going to put it in the show notes underneath the video. So feel free to click on any of those to be redirected to check them out. Uh, but going back to the earbuds, which was number three, you know, just, just get a, a basic pair. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular. When, when you think about it, you're really only working out maybe an hour a day. Most people aren't doing it seven days a week. So for the money, you know, obviously it'll be worth it. They'll be able to play music. Will it be the best quality? Probably not, but for under 10 bucks, you know, what, what can you do? So number four, nutrition or protein bars. Obviously, <laughs> there are so many that are out there. Um, you would know the fitness lover in your life better than I would. So I would pick and choose different bars, flavors, textures that they're into. Obviously, if they're allergic to peanuts, uh, it wouldn't be ideal to get them a bar that has nuts in it. Um, but I mean, there's so many different flavors out there today. There's bars, there's cookies, there's brownies, there's, you know, little cake bites. There's, uh, just so many different options out there. So go ahead and search, find something that, you know, you think that they would enjoy and go with that. The fifth thing, body fat caliper with body tape. So what this does is it gives the fitness lover in your life, the ability 
to take their own body fat as well as measurements. So what this does is, obviously with New Year's coming and the holidays upon us, people are looking to potentially get into better shape for the new year. So what better way to do that than to actually utilize something that will give you, you know, solid numbers on how you're progressing throughout the year. Obviously, if your body fat is dropping, you're going in the right direction. If your body fat is increasing, then obviously, you know, you need to change something up. Number six can go right along with number five, which is a fitness book. You want to educate the fitness lover in your life. Obviously, I have numerous health, fitness, and nutrition books that are available, both ebook and audiobook. You can feel free to check them out on the website. Tons and tons of valuable information that's in there, but really any fitness book will do. If, if you have somebody who's following a certain diet or they're looking to start a certain diet, maybe it's intermittent fasting or the ketogenic diet, you know, whatever the case may be, maybe you just get them a book on that topic because you know it's something that interests them and that will bring value. The seventh thing is a workout log. Again, this goes back to like the fifth, uh, you know, product, which was the body fat caliper and body tape. You can actually use your workout log to, to track your, your weight, your body fat, your measurements. But at the same time, you can track your workouts, which allows you to fully understand and get a visual of how you're progressing with your weights. If you're not going up in the weights and you're not making progress, you know, in the gym, you're obviously not going to make progress with your physique. So for that reason, it's super important to track your workouts to make sure that each week you're trying to better what you did the previous week. Maybe it's more reps. Maybe it's an extra set. Maybe you're going up in the weights, whatever the case may be. So that gift will be extremely valuable for the fitness lover in your life. Number eight, RTD protein shakes or nutrition shakes. Obviously, there are so many that are out there. You have Labrata Lean Body. You have Cytosport Muscle Milk. Uh, you have uh, Metrex RTD 51s. The list goes on and on and on. You know, obviously those are a few that just came, you know, to my mind. But, you know, find something that they would like. If they want something high in protein, maybe the Metrex RTD 51 will, will suit their needs. If they're going more for like a nutrition type of shake, maybe they can go with something like an IsoPure which is, you know, super low carb, low fat, but, you know, moderate in protein. So there's just so many different options out there. Um, Vega has a plant-based RTD. So, you know, whether you're into plant-based or, or, or whey, there's something out there for that person in your life, depending on what their individual wants and needs are. Number nine. This one, <laughs> this this is one that everyone should have regardless, and that is a workout towel. Listen, nobody wants to be in the gym and go over to a piece of equipment to find it covered in sweat. I mean, I've been in gyms where I walk to a piece of equipment and there's literally a puddle of sweat on the floor at the piece of equipment. And when you look at the pads... It literally looks like somebody dumped a water bottle on it. It's disgusting. So for that fitness lover in your life, maybe invest in a small workout towel that allows them to not only get the sweat off of themselves, but off of the equipment that they use. It's just basic gym etiquette. And it goes a long way because I, I know it causes conflict when you know I'm going to a piece of equipment, somebody gets up, I go to use it. And I look and I'm like, hey, bro, like, can you wipe this off? Like, it's it's soaked. This is disgusting. It causes tension. It causes issues. Just invest in a towel. Get the fitness lover in your life a towel. And everyone <laughs> will be happy in the end. Number 10, the final thing on the list. And it's, it's it, I guess you could lump it in with number eight, which, you know, was talking about different protein and, and nutrition. And number 10 is beef jerky. Everybody loves beef jerky. I mean, if 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 that obviously if you're a, a meat eater, if you're a, a a vegan or a vegetarian, obviously you're not going to be utilizing that. But there there's a ton of great beef jerky options that are out there today. It makes for a great snack at night if you're craving something. You're like, man, I don't want to eat something you know junky. Beef jerky is the way to go. Also, if it's in a resealable bag, 
They can put it in their briefcase or their backpack and take them take it with them to school, to the office, to the gym. Maybe you're eating it on the way. Uh, you know, you're going to use that kind of as your your pre workout. So be it. Or maybe it's going to be your post workout. Maybe you prefer just to eat something versus taking a shake. That's fine. But beef jerky, there. I mean, obviously you have original. There's teriyaki flavored. There's peppered. Uh, you name it, it's out there. So. I would recommend, though, getting one that is resealable because if they open up, they don't eat it all. Then you got to figure out where you're going to store it. So those are 10 things that you can use as stocking stuffer ideas that are under 10 bucks for this holiday season. I hope it gave you some ideas. Again, there will be links. So go ahead and click them if you want some ideas of what I would recommend or based off of what I talked about in this podcast, it will all be there. So I hope that gave you some ideas. And enough time to hopefully go out and buy them before the holiday season rolls around. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Social media at Wyke Fitness. You can find me on the website, obviously, wikefitness.com. Click contact. It'll go right to me. I will answer your questions. But until next week, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week and weekend, and I hope to catch you guys on the next episode.